Hey YouTube, Test Drive 3 Gaming here, and today I have a special video for you guys. It's my first ever garage showcase. I know you'd be like, well, you have a garage showdown series already, but I'm like, you know, you know, I got that garage showdown. I got, right, I got that garage showdown on the side. Actually, I got the garage showdown as my main bay right now, and garage showcase as my side bay. So we're going to hit this up like once, maybe every once a month, and we're in my garage today. So I'm just showing showing off my cars, and I'll do all three garages today. So hopefully you guys will like my cars. If you do, oh, they're not as fancy as the cars on TV though. <laughs> but hopefully you'll like like my cars. Uh, comment which one you like the most, which garage you think is the best. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's hop into the first person. There we go. We have our uh, Karen Karuma armored. Uh, you saw the customization video on this. You got the nice black with the nice ice white uh, matte colors. It looks very, very nice. I left the wheels because they just look nice as they are. I think I actually I think I changed the wheels, but I, I kept them black because it just looks nice. It looks very nice. It got the front uh, bumper on there with the also the uh, different exhaust. So this like vehicle looks really nice. I I chose to have this kind of spoiler as you saw in the video. Next, I've got my Honest Elegy RH8, and this one I really like. It's a crew color from a while ago. It's our old crew color, and this one looks really nice. It's got like the unique spoiler on the back. It's got the cool um, rear diffuser with the with the um, the sticker on there, which is really awesome. You got to go with that black, those black tinted windows. See, I've got ice white uh, wheels or rims, I rather. And I, I think I'm going to have to switch that up because I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, you got the nice uh, scooped hood, which looks very, very nice. Then we got the Karen Karuma here. The the plain one got an ultra blue on it with uh, ice white pearlescent, I believe I have on it. Maybe not. I might not have gone for that. And then I got the front splitter. I went for the words on the wheels just because, like, the custom tires because it matched the secondary of white. So it looks super nice, I think. Hopefully you guys would agree. I went with the black rims to match the limo tinted windows. I love this spoiler a lot, so I went with this spoiler also on here. And then off to the Dink Adjuster race car. I have another old crew color on here. It's yellow. It was supposed to be more like a bleak yellow, like, you know, like bleak banana. But it came out more like colorful, but it, I think it looks like a nice race car. You could see like that being a race car in real life, so that's why I went with that color still. I think it looks very, very nice on it. You got the nice uh, roll cage inside just in case, you know, and make it look like a real race car. You got the red with the yellow still, the red rims that were just cut, uh, stock rims, but they look nice. This vehicle just looks super, super nice, I believe. Next, we have my Vapid Hot Knife, which you guys saw in one of my GTA uh, pimp, pimping out a vehicle video, car customization. I have, like, the hot rod w wheels on there blacked out to match the matte black on the top with the Cabernet metallic right here. This vehicle looks very nice. I got the crew emblem on there. Looks super, super awesome indeed. I got the cool license plate on the back. Nice black. And then you got the side steps here. I went for the full body because it just looks more of like a classic vehicle. Then, then here we have the Weenie Izzy Mini Cooper that it translates to in real life. And this one I think I'm really happy about because you don't see this vehicle like at all in anyone's garages. Like it looks just super nice though. You got like a nice shafter purple, I believe, spinnaker purple maybe. And with an ice white, with an ice white, ice white secondary there. Sorry about that. And the ice white rim. So this vehicle looks very nice indeed, I think. Then I've got my only supercar. The Pegasi Vaca, it looks very, very nice. I think I have a Cabernet Red on there with an ice white pearlescent. You see, it's not not very common. It's very, very different compared to what it what most uh, supercars have. I don't have any bright colors on this one, but it looks nice. I went with the black uh, rims to match the window tint and the, the grooves right there and the lovers on the back. You see the rear lovers and the spoiler is black, so I, I went with black rims. So I think that looks pretty nice because it's got like metallic sec or metallic uh, outline on there. And then here's my Feister Comet, I believe. Feister, Feister yeah. Uh, I go, I went with a, a just a plain lime green with lime green rims because it looks pretty nice. I might change the rims to a black, but honestly, I, I like how green it is. It looks very very nice. I love the interior in this car, not not that car over there. This car, 
Because if you look in, look inside, this is the nicest interior in the game, I believe. Like, just look at how nice the green, like, accents everything. It goes around well. Just looks very, very nice. It looks like a very nice vehicle. Next up, we have my Bravado Banshee topless version. I went with an orange and black stripe. So it's kind of like a basketball car, basketball car. And then you got the orange and black here. So it just looks nice. Got the black or yellow and black license plate. And then here you have the coil brawler. Uh, it's my new, my current crew color. I don't know if I have it on my shirt at all. No, I do not. But that's okay. So this is my newest crew color. And it looks very, very nice, I think. I kept the rims as I was saying my uh, garage showdown because it matches the... Uh, Set, uh, the spare wheel rims so it looks super nice I got my crew emblem on there I created that all myself you know I'm not much of an artist or anything so yeah don't hate on it please but yeah this is what it is it looks super nice I think matte black secondary just goes well with the vehicle so hopefully you guys did enjoy my garage showcase if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and we'll go on to the second garage all right about okay guys we're back in my second garage here and this garage is a lot different I don't think you've seen any of these customization videos so this should be brand new to all of you so let's hop in first person real quick if we can there we go and first is my hijack chameleon it's got like a different it's got like a pearlescent of gold on it so it's bronze with a race yellow pearlescent so you got like that gold tint to it sort of I went with just high-end rims on it it looks very very nice you know it's not much of a performance car as you can see there but I just like how it looks it looks very nice got that low spoiler on there I love how it says chameleon right there in the back that license plate though is on point that's that's what you clap for and you got the solar paneled roof because it's electric so you got to get the power any way you can so I, I like this car for how it looks it just it, it looks very very nice that's the only reason I have it then here's my uber mock sentinel and yeah, it doesn't look that great, you know, it's just kind of an air eh car, like it's not super, super awesome. But the reason I have this thing, here, let's hop out of uh, first person real quick, if I can. Here we go, like this. Let's do that. This is why I like this vehicle. It's the only car, or only vehicle in the game that has a hard top convertible roof like that, so it just, it looks very, very awesome when you convert it. Here we have, there's a Western Damon. I just stuck with the red flames and black because it just it goes well with the bike. I got the Trident wheels. I love how like the the back is like it just looks super nice. Here we have the Western Bagger, so the two Western bikes right next to each other. This was Michael's bike or Franklin's bike. I can't remember. I think it was Michael's bike, but it's got black rims on it. I went with the uh, speeder rims, I believe. And I got the blue saddlebags on there, so that looks super, super nice. You see, it's not much of a performance bike. It's just a more classy bike. You can't really do stunts on it. You can sort of do wheelies on it a little bit, but it's just more of a, like a high-end looking bike. So I like that. We might be adding more bikes to this too, and you see you got the nice uh, exhaust on coming from behind there. I just like how this bike looks. Here is the Shih Tzu Hakuchao. Uh, this bike costs about $82,000, I believe. Uh, it costs quite a bit for a motorcycle, obviously, uh, but you know it's kind of. I think it's worth it because it's just it's such a good bike. I like it. It's it's high performance. Of course, I added turbo to it so it goes faster. But it looks super nice. You you see the red and white looks nice on it. I believe uh, it looks really really nice. You got that carbon exhaust right there. It just looks very very nice. The view of the stuff is nice. It's got nice mirrors on it. Here's my body 801. I believe this one actually wasn't a car customization video, so you got to see this one. It's got the full rims, which I believe look actually pretty nice on this thing. I went with a lava red with, an, with a yellow pearlescent, so it shines pretty weird. on <laughs> that crew emblem on there, baby. And then an ice white secondary. So I think this bike actually looks probably the nicest out of all of mine because it's like the, it's kind of, it's most unique, I believe. So that looks pretty nice. Here's my Body 801 RR. I've got the Stronzo logo on there with the uh, lime green, white, and red. I believe it looks the nicest because it's just got the most color. It uh, pops out the most when you're driving down the street. You want people to notice what you're driving. You know, you don't want to just be driving like a Karen Astro. Like, 
plain like black like if you if you want to be noticed you don't drive that like it's it's not a bad vehicle by any means but you don't you don't drive that you drive something like spontaneous and bright like this here we got the my dirt bike the uh, my Ubatsu Sanchez and I got the livery version of it and I got the Patriot logo on it because I sadly missed out on the Western Sovereign when it was available and I kind of want to have like an American bike so this is what I went with because I, I just like how it looks it looks very very nice I wish you could change the number on there though that would be the best part but I just left the rims as they are they look pretty nice I thought so this bike looks very very nice indeed then I got my Vapid Dominator here this one I put a uh, cast iron silver on it with an ice white pearlescent because it, it like shines better like that like you see right there it shines and then I have like a matte black secondary or is it metallic black I think it's metallic actually so that's how that looks and then I just left the rims high end so it looks pretty nice you got that front splitter it just looks super nice good sidestep nice ducktail spoiler here I like how this looks and then my dubs to 6x6 which was also a car customization video so I think this looks super nice. I got the nice gasoline green on here. It looks very, very nice. So that's going to be that, guys. Hopefully you guys like this garage, too. Uh, make sure you leave your comment on your top three vehicles, actually, I decided. And it can be one from each garage or it can be three from one garage. It honestly does not matter. Two from one, one from another, like, honestly. But just leave your top three vehicles that you enjoy, and we'll head off. Okay, YouTube, we're back again now in my third and final garage. And... This one, you've probably seen maybe three or four of these, possibly. So hopefully you guys will enjoy these. And I'm getting ready to go here. And first person, and here we go. The, the Class A Gang Burrito is the first one. I went with the red and white because it looks like the A-Team van, as you guys probably already know. It looks very nice. You got that stripe across the side. I think this is probably the most unique van in the game. You got that side exhaust. Nice white, uh, like an ice white or uh, matte ice white uh, bumper right there and you got that bumper in front with the red across and the lights which actually do work not the top ones but the ones right there do I don't know why the top ones why, why Rockstar would do that but it looks super super nice still I really like how this vehicle looks like look look inside right there that's kind of creepy <laughs> okay and then off to the Canis Bodhi here and this, yeah, I know it doesn't look super, super nice or anything, but it's just more of a role-playing vehicle. You got, you can fit four people total in here, two in, two in the back on those boxes right there, which is kind of cool. And in the front, just look at the customization on this thing. You have a teddy bear with horns. Man, it's just funny. And you got those lights up there actually do work, so thank you, Rockstar, for that with the horns still. So that looks super, super nice. You got that nice side step here. It just looks very nice. Then off to the Albany Virgo, which was supposed to be a car customization video, but for some reason didn't record. So here you get to see it now. It's got the nice pure gold on it. I thought this would be like the rich man swag status that it needed after buying it in Gotten Gains Part 1 for about 200k. So I went with that with the chrome secondary here. So you got the secondary color of chrome on the front. I believe you got the nice uh, antennas on here with the spare wheel. Looks very, very sleek. Uh, nice whiskers on the, i don't know what they're called uh, i think they're curb feelers that's what they are curb feelers with the uh extended cover of the tire which i thought i don't know what might as well since it's it's unique to this vehicle and then you got the nice just rat rod right there so i think that looks very nice so that's this albany virgo then you got the declasse stallion which believe i believe looks very nice as well it's got like a nice galaxy blue on it with a uh, cast iron silver rims which looks very very sleek I believe and then the Albany Manana you guys got to see this one in the car customization video if not go check that out for sure uh, white walls on it because it's a low rider it looks very nice I went with this uh, intake bug catcher so because I thought that looked better on this one you got the orange all the way around matte orange which looks super nice this one also has the curb feelers which looks very very nice indeed Okay, off. Oh, and no, it's not this one. Okay, it's this one over here. Then I got my Vapid Peyote with the white walls, curb feelers. This one doesn't have anything extended over, though, so that's kind of a bummer because that looks the nicest. Look at this interior. Like, this interior looks so funky fresh. Like, I can't even I can't even begin to tell you. Like, look at, look at those numbers on there. You get the nice uh, 
well, what's it called? Like cheetah print, but it's not cheetah. You know what I'm saying here. Spare wheel on the back, chrome bumper. It just looks super nice all together. And off to uh, this one, Lampadati Casco, which you guys got to see. This one I really like because of just how, like, it just looks very professional of a vehicle. I got the nice classic rod rims on there with desert tan coloring. I have a matte forest green on there, as you guys got to see in the car customization video. I love this one also for how uh, the engine looks. You can, like, sort of see the engine through there, and it just looks really, really nice. I really like how that looks. Okay, off to the Vapid Chino. I got with the matte blue on there with the nice white walls again. I went with a, like, a trapeze, sort of. Like, <laughs> I don't remember the name of the tire but that looks pretty nice I just went with matte black or uh, black I mean you, you got the nice matte blue with the chrome around it I think that looks very very nice indeed and you got the limo tinted windows then we have the rat truck you don't see this one very often anymore I have the original tires on here I know it looks similar to the ones the casco has but it's not the same ones but this one looks super nice it's just like it looks like a toy truck sort of but I, I like it and then my BF Surfer, and I have my old crew color on there, as you probably remember from my RH8. And then plain rims. I need to kind of change those rims up. I don't know what to, though. And I've got a nice ice white pearlescent to go with the surfboard. So, yeah, you see the surfboard with the rack on top. I, I really like how that looks. I kind of wish you could get on top of the surfboard right now. Maybe if we hop in and change our camera view, maybe we can. Because I want you, to guys, want you guys to see the top of the surfboard. Oh, so it's just it's just playing like that, but it looks super super cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this whole video. Uh, make sure you comment your three favorite videos and subscribe. It really mean a lot to me. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, have a fantastic.